Hi friends, in this video we start a series of tutorials on bash scripting in Linux which will greatly help you increase your productivity in the command line. Bash is a Unix shell and command language which is also available on Mac or even in Windows with WSL. If you want to know more about WSL, then watch my video on the subject. With Bash, you can execute a single or multiple commands together, run administrative or automated tasks, navigate and manage your files and folders, install programs or run scripts. Bash is a very powerful tool to have starting on your IT career, which will help you save a lot of time. It's also a good bridge to programming if you're interested to take that route later. When working with Bash, you'll need a terminal to work with. All operating systems come with some form of a terminal pre-installed. But if you want more functionality, then you might want to install additional terminals like iTerm2 on Mac or Windows Terminal, for which I've created videos. Another cool feature to help you with readability of commands and increase your speed is using syntax highlighting with oh my Z shell or oh my posh, for which I've also created videos. After you have covered the required tools, we can get started with some basics. I'll be using a Windows 11 machine with WSL2 and multiple Linux distros in this video. Start by finding out which shell you're using with the following command, echo dollar sign shell. Here you can see the output on my Ubuntu machine which uses Zshell versus Debian using Bash. Zshell and Bash are almost identical which means you can apply Bash scripting to both. In order to find out which other shells are installed on your system, enter cat forward slash etc forward slash shells. And in order to change your default shell, you'll need change shell command, which is pre-installed on Ubuntu. But if you don't have this command, then you can install it using your distro package manager by installing the util Linux user package. If at any point the tutorial in this video do doesn't match what you can do on your distro, and make sure you are using the latest version of Bash. Here is my version details. You can combine multiple commands with semicolon. Here I'm clearing the screen, then listing the content of current directory with hidden files and folders, and also printing current directory path. You can add such combination of commands to your Bash RC file as an alias, which makes working with Bash easy and fast. I'm editing Bash RC file with Vim editor. If you're new to Vim, make sure to watch my video on the subject. Here I'm adding the alias with the letter C to the combination of clearing screen, listing and printing directory. After saving the file, reload your Bash RC with the source command, after which you can use the alias. Piping is a concept you should get familiar with when working with bash piping sends the output of first process to the next if we use the ls dash al command it shows an output but we can pipe that for example with the wc dash l command to count the number of lines which helps to count number of files and folders Take note that all lines that are outputted are counted. This includes folders, the line with total blocks, and the dot directories, which indicate the current and parent directory. If you want to count only files in a directory, then use the find command. This will find all files recursively, which means it also looks in the subdirectories or when an output is too long. Pipe it with less to go through the output page by page.
You can also pipe commands with grep, which makes it easy to search for a string inside the output. For example, output the help section of a command and then search for a string. Another important concept in Bash is redirection. With redirection, you can redirect the input and output using angled brackets. A simple example is redirecting the output of a command to be written to a file with the greater than sign. Here is the result of the list output sent to a text file. If you redirect to the same file, the content is overwritten. If you want to keep the current content, but add the new redirection, then use double greater than signs. You can also combine multiple commands and redirect them to a file using curly braces. Here I'm listing and printing the current directory with disk usage. If your command returns an error, it will not be redirected to the file. If you want the error to be redirected, then you'll need to use the following format, where the number 2 is added before the greater than sign. Here I'm trying to list a directory that does not exist, which would return an error. And when printing the file, we can see the error. To re redirect both the output and the error, use the AND symbol with the greater than sign. If you want to redirect the output to one file and the error to another, then use the following format. Here the output and error are saved separately. You can also redirect the content of a file to a command. In this example, we count the, the lines inside a file using redirection. You can get the same result by using pipe. Hope you enjoyed this video about the basics when starting with bash scripting. More videos about bash scripting will follow soon. And I hope to see you in the next video.